Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. What is the minimum circuit requirement for kitchens? And what we're talking about in a kitchen, what is the minimum number of required circuits? And we're going to find this answer in 210.11c1. It says, in addition to the other circuits that are required here in the code, you must have a minimum of two 20 amp small appliance branch circuits for all of the locations that are listed in 210.52b. So in order to find out these locations, we got to flip over a couple pages. So we flip over a couple pages and these are all the areas that those two circuits are allowed to cover. Like I said, you can do more than this. I've said in previous videos, you, this is the minimum required. You are allowed to do more. You can do three, four, five, six, seven kitchen circuits, but let's talk about the minimum and then you can add from there. So when we get over to 210.52b1, we're going to find out that the receptacles that this is a, this, the receptacle outlets that are allowed to be served by the branch circuits that are listed in 210.11c1 are the kitchen, pantry, breakfast room, dining room, or similar area. It's also allowed to do the countertop outlets as well as refrigeration equipment. So off of the one circuit, you could do the part of the countertops, you could do um, the dining room, and you could also do the refrigerator all off the same circuit. Then off the second kitchen circuit, you could do the other part of the countertops, the island, and a breakfast nook and just have those two circuits regardless of how big the house is. Now, if you have multiple kitchens and it's by definition a kitchen, you're required to have two of those circuits for each kitchen. So you've got to keep that in mind. So with that being said, you are allowed to run the refrigerator and the countertops off the same circuit, but do most of us? And the answer is no. And I want to give one uh, caveat here. Yes, the code allows you to run the countertops and the refrigerator off the same circuit but there are newer, larger pieces of refrigeration equipment, refrigerators, that are requiring in their listing instructions a 20 amp branch circuit dedicated. So you have to watch out because those listing and labeling instructions that come with the refrigerator supersede what the code book says. So the code book might say you can run the countertop in the refrigerator, but if inside that manual, inside the paperwork, it requires a dedicated 20 amp circuit, guess who wins? It's the refrigerator. So you would have to follow that. And that would be a 110.3b issue if you want to go check out that code. 110.3b. I hope you guys are having a great week. And if there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.